Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to walk you through the solution for the late code problem sequential digits. This is a part of September late code challenge. So let's see what is a sequential digit. An integer has a an integer has a sequential digits if and only if each digit in the number is one more than the previous digits. Previous digit. So let's say you have a number one two three. So the digits in this number are one two and three. So two is uh, the next digit of one, three is the next digit of two. So one two three as a number is a sequential digits. The next thing is you need to return all the integers in the given range. Let's say you are given a uh, two numbers, ten uh, and twenty. So you need to uh, check all the numbers between ten and twenty, which are having sequential digits. So if they are, if there are. Then you need to return all those numbers. You need to include the range as well. Let's see the examples. So in the first example, you have a range of hundred to three hundred. So you have to start with the number hundred. So check what is the next number that is having sequential digits. So one to three is a sequential digits. So your first answer will be one to three. So a simple trick here is, let's say you have a sequential digit so of one to three. So to get the next number which is having sequential digits, you just have to add one to every digit in here. So one becomes two, two becomes three, three becomes four. So the next sequential digits number will be two, three, four. So same way, add one to everything here, so you get three, four, five, four, five, six, and six, seven, eight, so on. But you have a limit of 300 here, so your answer will be 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. So the next example, you have a range of 1000 to 13,000. So you start with the number uh, which is after 1000, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So you get the next number as 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on, and 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the next number uh, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a sequential digit is as I said earlier, you just add 1 to every digit here, so it will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it will be 23,456, but that is outside the range of 13,000, so your answer will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And coming to the constraints, so the range can be as low as 10 and it can go all the way till 10 power 9, so you need to uh, handle everything from 10 to 10 power 9. Okay, so that is the problem. So one straightforward thing that you can do here is just check every number between 10 to 10 power 9. So take every number from 10 all the way till 10 power 9. Check if the number satisfies the satisfies the given condition of having sequential digits. So this way you get your answers. But this is pretty straightforward. But uh, given the high range, you will definitely end up with the timeout. So what shall we do to reduce the time off? Let's look at the hints given here. Let's look at the hints given here. So you need to generate all the numbers with sequential digits and check if they are in the given range. So instead of going through every every number between the range, you just generate the valid numbers which are already having sequential digits. And if they are between the required range, you add it to your answer. So that way you just ignore many of the numbers which are not valid. So that will greatly reduce the time complexity. Okay, that's simple. But how do we generate all the numbers which are already valid? So let's look at the second hint. So fix the starting digit, then do a recursion that tries to append all valid digits. So this way you just get the valid numbers which are already having a valid sequential digits. So so we have a digits from 0 to 9 so all these digits we can use in our numbers but uh, with the given constraints like every digit should be one more than the its previous digit so we can't use 0 but we can use uh, all the digits from 1 to 9 so you can use the digits from 1 to 9 as a starting digit then try to append the valid digit to it so let's say you start with a number 4 so the next digit the only digit that you can use to get a valid number is 5 because the next number of 4 is 5 
so so when you add a 5 to 4 you get a number 45 so 45 is a valid number so the next number of 5 will be 6 so in your next iteration you are going to append 6 to 45 so you get 456 and so on so that's it so so there are basically two things that we need to take care so start with a, a starting uh, digit from 1 to 9 then for every starting digit you try to generate the valid numbers recursively so these are the two things that we need to take care okay having set the base let's go ahead and write some code okay so sequential digits so we need to return a vector of integers and we need to return them in a sorted order okay so you are given a range low and high so you need to consider low as well as high while uh, generating your answers okay let me define my uh, return variable return result and as I said earlier we may have to define one recursive function so to generate all the valid numbers so let me call it generate so let me have uh, a parameters like in number which is like what is the current number that is uh, formed till now and what is my current digit in digit then uh, to check whether the number is within the range we need to have our low and high range okay this is the recursive function that we are going to use so as we discussed first we need to uh, start with uh, every possible starting digit starting digit so let's write a for loop so the valid starting digits are 1 to 9 so, so you, have, you loop through 1 to 9 and for every number you try to generate all the valid numbers so uh, for the purpose of simplicity let's start with a starting number of 0 and the current digit should be i then we pass low and high for verifying whether they are in the range then you return your result so just before return i think we need to make sure that they are in sort order so you can use stl sort so result dot begin result dot end <coughs> this makes sure that the numbers are in increasing order okay so the base is set so now we need to write or now we need to complete our recursive function so for the recursive function uh, as a simple rule for the recursion we need to have the base condition which will break the recursion so if the number is uh, within the range so if you have a current number which is none so if the number is within the range we need to append it to our answer if the number is greater than or equal to <coughs> no we need to have equal to to consider the range as well and number is less than or equal to high you append it to answer so answer dot pushback and one more condition that you need to have is you need to consider only the valid digits so if the digit is outside the valid range so we are starting from 1 to 9 so in case the digit goes beyond 9 you just return so that breaks our recursion and that will be the base condition now you need to call the recursive function by appending the uh, current digit so you have a current number num and a current digit digit so to make a valid number you need to append the next digit to it so number equal to number start 10 plus digit so you append the current digit then call the generate function with the next digit so you call with num then digit plus 1 then low and high okay so this will continue in a recursive fashion and it will try to generate all the digits all the numbers the digit uh, having digit plus 1 okay so let's uh, so we are generating the number with the current number plus the current digit and we are passing the number to the generate function 
then when we come to the next iteration we check if the number is within the range low and high if it is there in the range we push it to our answer okay so let's just run with the sample test case and see if it works okay so the input is 12300 let's execute the other test case as well 1000 and 13000 So one, two, three, two, three, four, five. So you got the correct answer. So just to make sure that it works fine, and let's verify the actual range. So actual range is ten to ten power nine. So let me execute it for the range ten to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten power nine. Let's see what happens. Okay, so 12, 23, 34, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Hopefully, all the numbers are same. Let's check the last numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it looks to be correct. So, the execution time is 0 milliseconds. So, we have run the highest possible input, and still the execution time is 0 milliseconds. So, it is a good enough solution to pass all the test cases. So, that's it, friends. Hope to see you see hope to see you soon with the next problem. So let me submit and see. Okay, so accepted. Let's check what is the time for the solution. Okay, twenty one out of twenty one discuss fast. 0 milliseconds memory uses 6 MB. Okay, that's it. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.